So now I want to discuss about the concept that is enum. What is enum? Enum is also known as a reference data type. We can say that enum is the reference data type and whenever we have the fixed number of objects at that time we can use the enum. For example, number of days are 7, number of months are 12, so it's a fix. Let me create here one enum and that enum is months. You can say number of months in a year is fixed. So I have 12 objects that is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So you can say I have 12 objects in my months enum. But each and every month has different number of days. So you can say here I am mentioning that January has the 31 days. February has either 28 or 29. So I am writing here 28. March has 31. April has 30. May has 31. June 30. July 31. August 31. September 30, October 31, November 30, and December 31. So I have 12 objects in which I have the value. You can say that this is the parameterized constructor of enum. So some point to remember related to enum. Enum may have a constructor. So we can write the constructor in a enum. Enum also have a methods. For example, let me write the constructor over here that is the months. So you can say that this is the enum and this is the constructor. And this is the argument, right? That is the number of days. So I'm taking the number of days as a parameter. So I'm writing here number of days. Here you can declare the variable integer number of days. So this is my instance variable of enum. It is like a class, but the difference is what? The objects are fixed here. And in class, the objects are not fixed. So here you can initialize that this dot number of days is equal to number of days. So this 31 will be initialized to this number of days variable if user is calling the January constructor. So this is my constructor but can I write the method? Yes I can write the method also. For example let me write the method that is integer get number of days and it will return simple number of days. So this is the function you can say which returns the number of days. This function I defined in the enum months. Now how can I use this enum? So it is very simple. You can create here one class and that class is enum demo. Here you can write the method main that is public static void main. Now how can I call this instance? So it is very simple. You can write here that is months m1 is equal to months dot for example april. So this M1 is the instance of months which can point to April instance. So as a result, what can I do? I can call the function that is number of days. So I can get M1 dot get number of days. So if you get the number of days, then it will return you 30 days. Why? Because you have assigned April instance to M1. You can save this. You can compile this program that is enumdemo.java and you can run this enumdemo. You will get 30. That is the April month has 30 days. Not only this, you can also get the name of the month. So how we can get this? For that, there is a one function. Every enum has the function that is name. You can say this function is a return returns the name of instance. So here my instance is April. So what is the biggest benefit? I can write here 
that is m1.name and I can call number of days. Now you can compile your code and you can run this. You will get that the April has 30 days. But sometimes students say that sir, I want to retrieve all the month and I want to retrieve all the number of days. Here, what happened? If you change that, for example, if you write here that is August, then you will get 31. If you change here and if you compile and run, you will get August 31. Yes, it is correct. But I want to retrieve all this. Is it possible to retrieve all the instance of the enum? Yes, you can return all the instance of the enum. And for that, there is a one function in enum and it is known as a values function. What it will do? It returns array of all the instance available in enum. So it returns array of all the instance. There are 12 instance available in my month's enum. So you can call the function that is values. So how we can do this? Very simple. I can write here a loop that is months and that is for example m colon and here you can call the function months dot values. So what it will do? It will return me array. So one by one it will available in my M instance. So M will first point to January and I can get the name of the instance as well as the number of days. I just need to call here that is M dot name and M dot get number of days. You can save this. You can compile your code and you can run this. You will get here that January has 31, February 28, March 31 up to December 31. And this is using the one instance and rest 12 that is January to December. This is using this for loop. So values is the function which returns the array of all the instance available in enum. There is a one more function and that function is known as an ordinal which is used to retrieve the index, right? So it returns the position of instance or you can say index of the instance. Index is start with zero. So index start with zero. So if you want to display here index, then you can display index also. For example, let me write here that is m dot ordinal right so what it will do it will display the index you can compile your code and you can run this you will get here 0 for january 11 for december so it's a simple index if you want to write here 1 2 3 4 5 then you can simply write ordinal plus 1 Ordinal is starting from 0 plus 1, it will be 1. Now you can save this. Now you can compile your code that is nmdemo.java and you can run this nmdemo. You will get 1 for January, 2 for February and 12 for December. Number of days are 31. So this is the way we can use the enum whenever we have the fixed number of instance. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.